Hi, I'm Rajesh from Technora.in and welcome to another edition of the Technora Coffee Minute. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the role of a double boiler mechanism in espresso machines and explain to you how it can enhance your coffee experience. So we are going to talk about a double boiler fully automatic espresso machine like the Technora Epic TCM801A. How it works and what are the advantages. In order to explain to you how a double boiler fully automatic espresso machine works, I am also going to show you a single boiler fully automatic machine side by side just to give you some context into, into, into the workings of these two machines. So here we have a, a DeLonghi Dedica which is a single boiler fully automatic machine. So a single boiler double use mechanism like the DeLonghi Dedica consists of one boiler that performs two functions. It has got two thermostats inside it and it can either raise the temperature of the water to brew coffee or raise the temperature of the water to produce steam. So it's either or one boiler, two uses. In a double boiler system like, uh, like the Technora Epic, you have two boilers, one boiler dedicated to the brew uh, temperature and one boiler dedicated for the steam temperature. So this is the main difference between a single boiler and a double boiler mechanism. Single boiler, two uses, two boilers, two uses. So in a single boiler double use machine, you have to have some waiting time between switching functions. So if you want to move from an espresso to a, uh, a steam function, you'll have to wait for the temperature to rise. At the same time, if, you, if after, after having using the frothing function or you want, to, you want to make another espresso, you have to wait for the temperature to drop. So you have, you, uh, there are waiting times involved. In a double boiler, you won't have that because you have two separate boilers for two separate functions and there is no waiting time between, uh, between these two functions or minimum waiting time between these two functions. This is the main difference between the two uh, systems. So what makes the double boiler EPIC system unique? Well, in, in this category of machines, normally you have a single boiler double use mechanism. Uh, you have a double boiler double use mechanism in machines that are let's say a level higher than these like the super automatic or the kind of uh, fully automatic machines that have a milk dispensing option as well. So you have these canisters embedded in the machine where you pour milk or the, or the canister itself can be taken away from the machine and uh, put in back over there. Uh, the problem with these machines is the milk itself. So the milk needs to be chilled at all times and uh, of course you have a problem of cleaning the milk and you know bacteria formation etc. So in these machines where you have a double boiler, double mechanism, milk dispensing, milk frothing mechanism, you must make sure that the milk is chilled. So the canister must be placed in, in, in refrigerators and uh, every time you need to froth milk or make a, make a cappuccino, you need to take it out and place it on the machine and put it back in the fridge after use. So that's a little uh, in, inconvenient. Uh, but in, in machines like this where you normally use a separate uh, a steam spout to froth the milk, you don't get machines that have a double boiler. That's why the Epic is, uh, uh, is, is, is unique because it's the, it's the only machine of this category, of this kind, which has got two boilers. Now, let me show you on an operational level uh, how a single boiler system and a double boiler system works. So the Dedica has got four buttons, one on the side, which is the mains power on and off. One is a single espresso, one is a double espresso, and one is a steam and brew switch. The, the steam and the brew can be controlled by this switch, and the steam knob over here is used when you have moved from the brew temperature to the steam temperature, and you open this knob for the steam to, to pass through the, uh, uh, the panel over here. The Epic has got only three buttons, so it has the mains on and off, single espresso and double espresso. It does not have a steam button because the steam is always ready and uh, is always available to you by opening the steam knob and the steam then passes out through the uh, steam wand over here. Alright, let's make some coffee.
Right, so the espresso is done. Now let's froth some milk. I'm going to press the steam button here to uh, toggle the temperature. Let's say switch the temperature from the brew mode to the steam mode. So as you can see now the light is flashing indicating that the temperature in the boiler is going to rise from the brew temperature to the steam temperature and I have to wait till this light turns steady. Yeah, yeah it's steady now and uh, that is pretty quick. It's steady and it is now uh, uh, ready to have uh, uh, steam operations as the boiler has reached the temperature. So first of course I need to release some water. Good. And now we are ready to froth some milk. Right. Okay, so this is what the frothing looks like. Okay, now so we've, froth we've, we've, we've done with frothing the milk and let's say at this point if I'd like to make another espresso, uh, I will exit the steam function and here I can see the, the two lights that are blinking which indicate that the uh, boiler is now uh, waiting for the temperature to fall down and until the temperature doesn't fall down and these lights turn steady, I cannot uh, remove another espresso because the temperature is too high. So this indicates that the uh, temperature is falling down and I must wait. This could take several minutes for uh, the uh, temperature to fall down or I could uh, uh, you know, uh, speed up this process by removing some hot water from the boiler and uh, that would allow some fresh water from the tank to come in and reduce the temperature. So let, let me remove some hot water now. Right, so you see these stops, uh, these lights have stopped flashing and uh, which indicates that uh, I'm ready to make my next espresso now because the temperature in the boiler has uh, dropped down. Right, so the espresso is ready now and uh, then the steam is ready as well because uh, there is no waiting time. There are two boilers, the steam boiler is as prepared to prepare steam as the boiler for the uh, brewers. So all I have to do is as usual first release some hot water. The first flush, yes that's the first flush and now I am ready to steam the milk. So the milk is ready as well as you can see. And now if at this point I need to make another uh, shot of espresso, I don't have to do anything much except change the porter filter, load in a new uh, scoop of uh, coffee powder and then I'm ready to go and press my uh, espresso buttons because there is no wait time, everything is set. So as you can see, it's super convenient to use a double boiler system like the Epic TCM801A compared to other fully automatic machines. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please do log on to our channel Technora TV for more information and, and lots of more videos on how to make coffee, what, what, what coffee technology is all about. Uh, feel free to, to write to us if you, have, if you have any questions, comment as well. See you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.